The Ekman layer is the layer in a fluid where there is a force balance between pressure gradient force, Coriolis force and turbulent drag. It was first described by Van Walfred Ekman. Ekman layers occur both in the atmosphere and in the ocean. There are two types of Ekman layers. The first type occurs at the surface of the ocean and is forced by surface winds, which act as a drag on the surface of the ocean. The second type occurs at the bottom of the atmosphere and ocean, where frictional forces are associated with flow over rough surfaces. History Ekman developed the theory of the Ekman layer after Fritjof Nansen observed that ice drifts at an angle of 20 degrees to 40 degrees to the right of the prevailing wind direction while on an Arctic expedition aboard the Fram. Nansen asked his colleague, Wilhelm Björkner to set one of his students upon study of the problem. Björkner tapped Ekman, who presented his results in 1902 as his doctoral thesis. Mathematical <laughs> formulation. <laughs> 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 The mathematical formulation of the Ekman layer begins by assuming a neutrally stratified fluid, a balance between the forces of pressure gradient, Coriolis and turbulent drag. Minus F V equals minus 1 rho O P X plus K M 2 U Z two F U equals minus one row O P Y plus K M Two V Z two zero equals minus one row O P Z display style begin aligned F V and equals frac one row underscore O frac partial P partial X plus K underscore M frac partial carrot two U partial Z carrot two five P T Fu and equals frac one row underscore O frac partial P partial Y plus K underscore M frac partial carrot two V partial Z carrot two five P T zero and equals frac one row underscore O frac partial P partial Z end aligned where u display style u and v display style v are the velocities in the x display style x and y display style y directions respectively f display style f is the local coriolis parameter and k m display style k underscore m is the diffusive eddy viscosity which can be derived using mixing length theory. Note that p display style p is a modified pressure, we have incorporated the hydrostatic of the pressure, to take account of gravity. There are many regions where an Ekman layer is theoretically plausible, they include the bottom of the atmosphere, near the surface of the Earth and ocean, the bottom of the ocean, near the sea floor and at the top of the ocean, near the air-water interface. Different boundary conditions are appropriate for each of these different situations. Each of these situations can be accounted for through the boundary conditions applied to the resulting system of ordinary differential equations. The separate cases of top and bottom boundary layers are shown below. Topic: <laughs> Ekman layer at the ocean or free surface. We will consider boundary conditions of the Ekman layer in the upper ocean at z equals 0 a u z equals Tau x and a v z equals tau y display style text at z equals zero quad up frac partial u partial z equals tau caret x quad text and quad up frac partial v partial z equals tau caret y where tau x display style tau caret x Tau y display style tau caret y are the components of the surface stress. Tau display style tau of the wind field or ice layer at the top of the ocean. For the boundary condition on the other side, as z minus infinity u 
u g v v g display style z to inf t u to u underscore g v to v underscore g where u g display style u underscore g and v g display style v underscore g other geostrophic flows in the x display style x and y display style y directions topic solution these differential equations can be solved to find u equals u g plus 2 f d e z d tau x cos z d minus pi 4 minus tau y sin z d minus pi 4 v equals v g plus 2 f d e z d tau x sin z d minus pi 4 plus tau y cos z d minus pi 4 d equals 2 k m f dot Display style begin aligned U and equals U underscore G plus frac SQRT two F D E carrot Z D left tau carrot X cos Z D pi four tau carrot Y sin Z D pi four right five PT V and equals V underscore G plus frac SQRT two F D E carrot Z D left tau carrot X sin Z D pi four plus tau carrot Y cos Z D pi four right five PT D and equals S QRT 2K underscore M F end aligned the value D display style D is called the Ekman layer depth, and gives an indication of the penetration depth of wind-induced turbulent mixing in the ocean. Note that it varies on two parameters, the turbulent diffusivity Km display style K underscore M, and the latitude, as encapsulated by F display style F. For a typical km equals 0.1 meters 2 per seconds, display style k underscore m equals 0.1 meters carat 2 s, and at 45 degrees latitude, f equals 10 minus 4 s minus 1, display style f equals 10 carat minus 4 s carat minus 1, then d, display style d, is approximately 45 meters. This Ekman depth prediction does not always agree precisely with observations. This variation of horizontal velocity with depth minus z display style z is referred to as the Ekman spiral, diagrammed above and at right. By applying the continuity equation, we can have the vertical velocity as following: w equals one f rho o minus tau x x plus Tau y y e z d sin z d plus tau y x minus tau x y one minus e z d cos z d Display style W equals frac one F row underscore O left left frac partial tau carrot x partial x plus frac partial tau carrot y partial y right E carrot Z D sin Z D plus left frac partial tau carrot y partial x frac partial tau carrot x partial y right one E carrot Z D cos Z D right 
Note that when vertically integrated, the volume transport associated with the Ekman spiral is to the right of the wind direction in the northern hemisphere. <laughs> Ekman layer at the bottom of the ocean and atmosphere The traditional development of Ekman layers bounded below by a surface utilizes two boundary conditions a no-slip condition at the surface the Ekman velocities approaching the geostrophic velocities as z display style z goes to infinity topic <laughs> experimental observations of the Ekman layer There is much difficulty associated with observing the Ekman layer for two main reasons. The theory is too simplistic as it assumes a constant eddy viscosity, which Ekman himself anticipated, saying, and because it is difficult to design instruments with great enough sensitivity to observe the velocity profile in the ocean. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Laboratory demonstrations. The bottom Ekman layer can readily be observed in a rotating cylindrical tank of water by dropping in dye and changing the rotation rate slightly. One, surface Ekman layers can also be observed in rotating tanks. Two. Topic: In the atmosphere. In the atmosphere, the Ekman solution generally overstates the magnitude of the horizontal wind field because it does not account for the velocity shear in the surface layer. Splitting the planetary boundary layer into the surface layer and the Ekman layer generally yields more accurate results. Topic: In the ocean. The Ekman layer, with its distinguishing feature the Ekman spiral, is rarely observed in the ocean. The Ekman layer near the surface of the ocean extends only about 10 to 20 meters deep, and instrumentation sensitive enough to observe a velocity profile in such a shallow depth has only been available since around 1980. Also, wind waves modify the flow near the surface, and make observations close to the surface rather difficult. <laughs> <laughs> instrumentation Observations of the Ekman layer have only been possible since the development of robust surface moorings and sensitive current meters. Ekman himself developed a current meter to observe the spiral that bears his name, but was not successful. The vector measuring current meter and the acoustic Doppler current profiler are both used to measure current. <laughs> Observations the first documented observations of an Ekman-like spiral in the ocean were made in the Arctic Ocean from a drifting ice flow in 1958. More recent observations include not an exhaustive list. The 1980 mixed layer experiment within the Sargasso Sea during the 1982 long-term upper ocean study within the California Current during the 1993 Eastern Boundary Current experiment within the Drake Passage region of the Southern Ocean in the eastern tropical Pacific, at 2 degrees north, 140 degrees west, using 5 current meters between 5 and 25 meters depth. This study noted that the geostrophic shear associated with tropical stability waves modified the Ekman spiral relative to what is expected with horizontally uniform density. North of the Kerguelen Plateau during the 2008 SOFINE experiment common to several of these observations spirals were found to be compressed. Displaying larger estimates of eddy viscosity when considering the rate of rotation with depth than the eddy viscosity derived from considering the rate of decay of speed. See also Ekman spiral Ekman transport Tea leaf paradox